This video tutorial covers advanced spring design, in particular constant force springs. I'll begin by showing you the related online help for this. It gives a nice diagram showing what a, an extension type constant force spring might look like. And as it says in the help text, a constant force spring is a roll of pre-stressed strip which exerts a nearly constant restraining force due to uncoiling. Uh, looking through this, we see that there are a number of recommended ratios for designing these, um, and these are used in the software. Uh, they're automatically applied as defaults. I'll go ahead and close this. We see the form within ASD7. Choose a material. If you use the recommended ratios, uh, as we see over in the design status screen, there are three of them. Those will be applied, and uh, fewer inputs would be required then. Those, those will add extra constraints. So if we uh, were to say, for example, that the, uh, the width of this will be 0.4 inches. We see that that immediately applies one of the recommended ratios and we get a, a thickness value listed here. Uh, we could put in a, a stress value. For example, we could say uh, we'd like it to work at 75% of maximum stress. And with just those two inputs, it designs the drum and the coil, indicating how long the extension would be. Um, we get a, a 3D image, giving us a general view of what the geometry would look like. The software also will uh, generate a report for us. We can include the 3D image in the report. Um, we preview. The database fills the report for us. And then we can either print it or export it. And again, note that the inputs are shown in bold, and the other calculated values are shown in a regular font. As with all ASD uh, programs, these can be uh, back solved as we would need to, so you could switch and put in a, a, a drum diameter, and it would back calculate for any of the others, the uh, stress, the width, these types of things. That ends this uh, tutorial on the use of constant force springs.